Uh, I'm Johnny. I'm from Arizona, and I live in northeast Kansas. My current manuscript is called uh, Poems from the 21st Century, Decade Two. In the early, uh, in early 2016, North Carolina passed a law that forces people to use the bathroom of the gender they were assigned at at birth. Since this law, there have been numerous others like it, all constitutionally contested. The poem is about how I feel about having that constant conflict. Which bathroom do I use? My body is a battleground. Not because I was born a female, that much is obvious. But I am trans. Not the T-shooting, surgery-changing kind of trans. No, I'm fluid. Something between woman and man. Some say I'm undecided. That is untrue. I'm happy with who I am. Thank you very much. I get angry when a security guard follows me out of the truck stop bathroom. There's a man in the bathroom. Really? Look again. How much is illusion? You would not recognize my kindred spirits who pass for their mental gender. You wouldn't see the woman in the bathroom you think is going to rape your daughter. You wouldn't see the man you think belongs to a woman's restroom. How would you know? Their body is ravaged by medical practices. How would you know? The scar is invisible to you. But me, I confuse you because you cannot classify my body. I am masculine. I am mentally more male than female, but will not ask for the change. It's not for me. I don't crave male privilege, and I'm not at war with my body. I crave companionship and truth. And the truth is my body is none of your business. I've been this way since childhood. My mother dressed me in jeans and t-shirts. I only had to wear the obligatory dress on Sundays and holidays. The truth is my father wanted me in frills and bows. I wanted to be out playing in his garden. Frills and bows can be ruined in the garden. The truth is I denied my true nature for so long. The years speeding by as I constantly tried to be a woman. Woman was a word that fell off my tongue like poison. Lady, girl, even babe, these words make me shiver. I've never quite felt like I belonged to the human race. In between spaces beckoned. I found the darker, harder side of gender-defying warriors. Leslie Feinberg was an icon in my view. I adopted language, two-spirit, non-gender, gender-fluid, gender-queer. My body became a battleground, a place for others to look and cheer, a place for others to see sameness, a place for me to finally rest. Um, I'm going to end on a happy note, and this is for all of you little baby queers out there who might feel nobody understands you. Fierce, fabulous, gender queer. To all of the trans queers out there who walk in the world as you are wearing fabulous clothing and makeup or none at all, to all the buzz cuts and bathroom warriors, I thank you. To those of you who do not go through the hard work to become you, I applaud you who do go through. To those who have lost families and made your own, own, know that I stand as one of you. To those who wear scars on the inside, not the outside, who cannot reveal the truth of self, I honor you. I stand to give you strength to find the voice needed to say, this is who I am. I did not shave my head until my mother was dead. I did not embrace the term queer really until I was 50. Only my close friends called me he, because even though others could see me as he, they still used the correct pronoun she. I finally stood up and said, this is who I am, declared it publicly, and I am here, and I am genderqueer, and while I've tried the label trans, it still doesn't suit my fluidity. Gender is too elusive to hit the T. Now, all of my life, I've been on the outside boxes and labels fit like oddly shaped clothing, lesbian, fag, gay. These terms do not seem quite appropriate. So today, I take back that word I used long ago, queer, and I say to you now, this is who I am, not quite male, not quite female. Wearing Levi's and T's to the day I say to the world, I am genderqueer and I am fierce. I have a place in the world and so do you. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it.